All right, in this lesson, we'll dive into some of the available attributes on our pandas panel object. Of course, some of these are going to be shared among the panel and the previous data structures we've explored, like series and data frames. Let's begin by executing our code and loading our panel object into the p variable. And in the last lesson, as a reminder, we explored the axes attribute, which gives us an array of the three axes that make up a panel. On the most outside layer, we have our first axis, which is the items axis. That's basically storing the keys that we can use to identify our data frames that are packed into that panel object. So here we have five uh, items available in the items axis. Our next axis is the major axis, which represents the row labels within each one of those nested data frames. So here we have a daytime index. And finally, we have the minor axis, which represents the columns within each one of those nested data frames. So we can extract either one of these or any one of these components with its own separate attribute. For the items, we have items. That's going to give us the most outer layer, the five identifiers for the data frames. We also have the major axis attribute. That's going to get us the uh, row labels or the date time index that makes up each one of our uh, data frames. And then finally, we have the minor axis, which gives us the information about the columns in each one of our five data frames. So again, this attribute basically bundles the result of these three attributes below. Let's take a look at some additional attributes as well. We have our familiar ndim attribute, that's short for number of dimensions, and a panel, as we know, is a three-dimensional object. We also have our familiar dtypes attribute, which is short for data types, and that's going to return a series where the index labels are going to be the five uh, data frames. In this case, this is the values from the items axis from our panel. And to the right, we're going to see the uh, data types of each one of those five data frames. So you can see all of them contain floating point values. We also have the convenient shape attribute. That's going to give us a tuple that's going to basically give us the measurements of our panel. So we can see here that we have five data frames or five items, 1,688 rows in each data frame. So that's uh, measuring the length of the major axis. And finally, five columns within each of our five data frames. So that's measuring the length of the minor axis. And of course, this information is the exact same thing that we see in this line whenever we just output the preview of the panel. You can see that the numbers here are the exact same. We also have that convenient size attribute. Size is going to give us the total number of values that are stored within the panel object, and we're going to get 42,200. We can prove this is correct by basically taking the values in our shape tuple and multiplying them together, because when you think about it, we have five total data frames. Each one of those five data frames is going to have 1,688 rows and each one of those data frames is going to have five total columns. So if we multiply those three values together to get the total number of cells or the total number of values across these five data frames, we're going to get the exact same result as that size attribute. So this is basically a way to see how many total values are being stored within our panel. It's 42,000. And of course, uh, as I mentioned uh, a little bit in the previous lesson, because it's a three-dimensional object, in order to get any one of these 42,000 values, we have to give it three points of reference. An item, which basically means a data frame, a row label, which is the major axis, and a column label, which is the minor axis. So three points of information are needed to reference any one of these 42,200 uh, options among our cells. We also, of course, have our values attribute. And that's going to give us a nested array. It's going to be probably the most intense array that we've seen so far. But basically, it's just going to nest all of the rows values within every single one of our data frames within our panel. So it's going to use a complex nested structure to store all of that information. But in case you need to extract that, you can get it that way. So that's just a quick combination or introduction rather of some of the attributes that are available on a panel. We have the axes attribute that basically combines the items, major axis, and minor axis attributes. We have number of dimensions, which is stored in ndim. We have d types, which gives us the data types. We have shape, which is giving us a tuple of the measurements of the panel. Those values combine together to get the size, which is its own separate attribute. 
And finally, we of course have that values attribute to get a raw array data dump of all of those 42,200 values that are being stored in P. So that's the quick introduction to these attributes. And in the next lesson, uh, we'll go through how we can extract one of those five data frames from our panel object.